Hello everyone and welcome back to Endzone. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. We just finished the first scenario and now we are getting uh, into the second one. Let's see uh, what we have to do this time. A settlement on the brink of destruction, your mission will be to give the people hope again and, and to stand by their side during reconstruction to keep them from going under. Okay, so I think we already have a built settlement in a bad design. I don't like these kind of missions. However, I don't know about anything a good design in this game. Not at least not yet, but I'm starting to slowly figuring out. So let's uh, get into this one. I also wonder how long these scenarios because I checked and they say the main gameplay for this is about uh, uh, 60 hours. Oh! Good thing you're here. We have major problems. The last sandstorm did a lot of damage and our supplies are running out. Many of the settlers believe we won't be able to survive much longer. Can you help us? Let's build ourselves a new home. The most important thing will be that we survive in the first place. But just how we're supposed to do that, well, we don't know. In this case, we're putting our faith in your experience and leadership. Okay. Oh, so we have to just hold on for a little longer. Okay, let's uh, look around. Well, I don't like this settlement. Okay, buildings damaged. We have a shelter. What's that? A school. Okay, we have a school. A tailor shop. Okay, we have scrap here. Let's do this. Okay, we have 10 unemployed guy. We have water source and we have a lot of people here. I think we will need uh, another water tower. There's no question about that. What are these? It's a food station and water point. Okay, at least we don't have to build them. Temporary storeroom. We have a cemetery. So we have scrap. Gatherer's cabin. Okay, what we need. First thing first. A deco uh, decontamination station. And for recycling. Yeah, we need mostly cloth. What's that? Charcoal kiln. that one we put it right here and we also need a water tower We are not doing great with food. Let's check what kind of seeds we are. We have. Okay, I'm fine with that. But we need more uh, food sources. 
Okay, and we just have to freaking fix everything. And for that we need resources. We have some scrap, but let's... We have 10 unemployed workforce. Okay, we are maxing this out. I think that will help. And... Removing these trees. And we will need tools as well. But that can wait. Oh, how many builders do we have? Three. Let's make them four. There's a lot of... Let's make them six. There's a lot of work to do. That work force is enough. Many of our settlers are getting older and older cheap. A lot of them think the time has come again to provide of for offspring so that our settlement doesn't go under due to overaging. We ask you to provide us with dwellings in order to have children cheap. Okay. At least we can build that. And how about changing the priorities to repairing buildings? Many of our settlers are forced to move across this waste and unprotected. We should boost our production of protected clothing. Yeah, we are on it. Okay, we are producing coal. Professionals are complaining about lack of tools. Maybe we ought to build a workshop to be able to ensure that everyone is working effectively. Okay, let's do it. I hope we don't want to do much in a short time. How about putting the workshop here? Because that's the main storage. I think uh, we don't really have to build this right now. Our people are getting hungry. I think we should focus on gathering more food. What do you think? Okay. I say okay to everything.
major portion of the food reserves were stockpiled seems to be contaminated chief you urgently ought to do something about that it's that our settlers stay healthy okay thanks a lot chief we really do need a new generation of offspring to be able to survive this barren landscape in the future too okay it's a sure thing this new terror shop will do a wonderful job we already uh, started producing and achieved the preliminary figures chief we all know ourselves just as you instructed chief we work day and night and we able to collect a large quantity of foods thanks chief okay we are getting food i don't have free settlers okay let's see what else we need okay we need this to work need to produce the metal tools and then we are done okay unhappy settlers but every everybody has a house okay We are good on water, but not with food. Okay, we have to minimize this. And put workers. Oh. We already had a workshop here. Well, not anymore. We will scrap that building and the settler from the workshop go for the fields. We are able to report initial success, Chief. Our decontamination post is working as fast as it can to keep our food clean. Okay, so we did all the initial missions and we are still in a bad position. I think what we need to do now is to build a forum and trying to do st stuff to increase uh, their confidence so they can reproduce more. So, forum. Right there. Uh, three builders let's yeah <clears throat> the problem that we are losing a lot of people right now i think we don't need this hunting lodge to work right now Our setters want to improve their living condition. Now that the basic supply is running fairly smoothly, you should also give us the opportunity to, la uh, to relax. Whoa, I don't know how to produce hard liquor. Okay, let's... Oh, I think the pub will produce. Yeah. 
So we need to build a pub. Okay, and let's... Well, I think the game uh, gives us... Oh, okay, that's, that's enough mission for now. We just received a radio message, Chief. A group of roaming survivors has requested that we support them with a few uh, kinds of materials. According to the info they send, they need food, water, protective clothing, and the like. Do you think there's anything we can spare? Yeah, because we need... Okay. Collect for survivors. We collected the settlement and gotten everything together we were able to spare. We ought to have a uh, help to ease those people's worst hardships with that stuff. One part of the group has even decided to join our settlement. It's a surge. Uh, it's sure thing we're able to put the extra hands to good use. Yes, because that's our current problem right now. We don't have enough uh, people to do the jobs around the town. And now we might have just enough people to work. Okay. We still have four free. So let's reactivate the hunting lodge. And I think I, I can do this one. Because we just put some uh, orchid down there, and I think we will put another one for food. Because we had a lot of old settlers and they just died out. But now we have a couple of young ones and we are making more children. So now I think we should be okay. I might even say we might just start building the expedition station. Yeah, build it, why not? Because that way we can send an expedition here and then we can dismantle this whole thing. And what we also need... We had to prepare medicine. can put down a hospital here but I think for now uh, herbs will do okay the expedition station is uh, built and operational so where is our settlement I think that should be in the middle yes Oh, we have a lot of interesting locations here, so let's start with this one. We are scouting that.
And we still have a population problem. Whoa, we don't have builders. Well, I guess for the moment we can live with that. And I cannot do this uh, mission for sure. Still, the confidence is rising. So I think we we have our footing right now. particularly well to promise the people you would lend an ear to their wishes and do not fulfill them or settlers are pretty unhappy with this situation okay but i just don't care oh yes we don't have builders because people are just dying left and right Train station. Okay. Let's go to this. Several children of settlement are unhappy. The harsh environment doesn't have much to offer the kids. The children are calling for new toys. Uh, um, clothing that's better tailor to fit them okay let's let's try it okay let's do scrap tools and we are already producing next part okay that's at least an easy one and people are still dying on us Oh, and we have a herbal hut here. That's why I don't like to have uh, a pre-built settlement. Hey Chief, there are more and more uh, of our settlers lately. If the population figures continue to rise rapidly, we might lead to supply bottlenecks. We can control the population world. Okay. This is up to you. Okay, I don't care about. We need freaking more settlers. And we should set it to medium. What the hell? People are just dying out. Population, age distribution. So we have only one old adult. 
so then uh, for a couple of more seasons nobody will die but of course we have uh, unhealthy people or sick people and why don't you produce tools what luck that you've come to help us I don't think this settlement would have survived without you. At the very least, the first steps have already been taken. So, we've made it up to this point. But I don't have the feeling that we can already be sure we've weathered this crisis. As the next step, maybe we ought to try to stabilize our circumstances? What do you think? Okay, that's that's our good goals, of course, but we have a people crisis. We don't have enough people. We don't have enough people. Well, I think okay. We don't need that. Yeah. Okay, this situation is indeed very, very, very bleak. And the sandstorm. Why the hell not? Okay, guys, I think that's it for uh, this episode. And we will continue from here. I hope you liked it. Yeah. I, okay. I can't even speak because I'm still thinking about how to get out of this bad situation. So anyways, thank you for watching and I see you in the next one. Bye.